One of the oldest independent theaters in the country now dependent on you. We caught up with the folks that run Screenland Armor to give us more insight on what they have uh, scripted for the future. All right, so we asked one of the owners to set the scene for us. The theater was originally opened in 1928 as a silent movie theater. And it has evolved over the last nine decades. Most recently, a floral shop stood next to Screenland Armor. So we're going to be taking over the old floral shop, which has been there for almost 30 years. So it's only fitting that Adam Roberts is cultivating what to do with this space, you know, kind of planting seeds for the future. We've, won we've outgrown these theaters. In a time when many theaters are shrinking, we're growing. It's a, kind of a Spielbergian dream, if you will. like a kid running his own movie theater and being able to expand that and offer more selections. I see wires. What do you see? I see no wires and two new movie theaters. I see arcade games. I see an open wall connecting to our other space. It'll let people come over here and increase all this as more seating and more games. And then the theaters are going to be back through here. The goal is to have additional screens, a larger lobby, more food, more beer, just more. You can see how small this space is and imagine 300 people being in here waiting for their movie and 200 people in there already coming out and that convergence of people, it's a nightmare. But first, a casting call, if you will, asking for you to help. This independent theater is on an independent budget. We're a really small business. There's only five employees here. The price tag on this expansion, $250,000. The theater set up a Kickstarter campaign for $25,000. A small fraction, Robert says, will have a big impact. Have a unique experience that isn't so so cold. Seeing a movie like Lawrence of Arabia on the big screen, like it was meant to be seen, is kind of a life-changing experience and might really make some kid who's never seen that movie want to be a filmmaker want to tell his own stories or her own stories and and, and I think it's that you know as a kid that those were what my feelings were seeing Jurassic Park in 1993 on the big screen when there's nothing else like it, it blew me away and that's the the theater experience we want to give people all right because it's a fundraiser on Kickstarter it, it, it is an all or nothing campaign so if they don't hit 25,000 they get nothing zero zilch nada for the link to their campaign or to learn more about the theater, log on to KSHB.com and search for the story. The goal is to have two additional theaters up and running by May.